Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I have here the HTC One M8. Yes, and I've been playing around with this phone for a couple of minutes, trying out some custom ROM, and I decided, you know what, I'm gonna get back to the stock ROM because you know I still want to play around with the stock HTC Zen. So before I install some ROM, so what I did is I do a complete Nandroid twerp backup. All right, and then I finished playing around with some custom ROMs. Have some issues so that's why i kind of want to get back to the htc sense for now i hit restore uh, restore my twerk backup and i got stuck on the htc logo because i thought i can just i can just do that well apparently you don't so in this video um if you guys have the same issues or you guys want to restore your htc one i make um back to stock htc sense maybe you guys want to sell it or something Here's a video now to do it. So let's go into the video, shall we? Alright guys, so this is the tools that we're gonna use is we're gonna actually use twerp to restore our phone back to normal. Alright, we're gonna use twerp. But the thing is, I tried it using twerp and it does not work. Alright, I have no idea why it won't work. So if you guys have like the correct CID for your phone here which all you have to do is just go to fastboot and then you can see your CID number right there is go ahead and just command F here and just search it up. So this is my uh, CID here, 11111. I found one and it says it, it's for Google Play Edition. So like, I don't mind, it's not the Google Play Edition it's because mine is the HTC One MHX, I think. So what I did is I searched up uh the forums even more and i found this post from the same contributor which is ckp 5 so thank you for providing the files and all i have to do is just go to this step so if you guys have the same cid number like me here which is 11111 you guys can follow along if you guys are different i suggest you guys if you guys able to find one that is perfect like your CID or you can download one from this website which I will link in the description below and find the perfect one that is for your CID as you can see here this is stock RDU EXE you can all you have to do is find one that's correct for your phone except the AT&T one the thing is I tried it with the twerp and it does not work for some reason alright so all you have to do here is just to search it up I mean I look at Google and this is what I found but as I said again here, if you guys have the same uh, RCID number like mine, which is this 111111, all you have to do, I will link this page in the description down below. And the first thing that you need is we're gonna need ADB. So we need ADB. I will link one in the description below, the one that's universal, that's they will install to your C drive and the HTC USB drivers, which I will also link in the, in the description down below, right? Next, all you have to do is download the REU file. So the REU file is basically, how do you say it? The firmware file, or as we like to call it in the iPhone world, the IPS w files for our phone here so you download that and then the next thing is you download the htc fast boot all right we need the htc fast boot so it's different than a normal fast boot i will of course link these two files also in the description down below okay the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and lock again our bootloader as you can see mine is unlocked we're gonna go ahead and unlock it, not unlock it, lock it again. We're gonna go ahead and go to Command Prompt. We're gonna type in fast boot devices. So we see it will connect. Oh no, we haven't because we haven't pressed one <laughs> fast boot. <laughs> Press power button so we hit the fast boot. There we go. And now it should be detected. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and lock our bootloader again here. So fast boot OEM lock. Hit enter. And then we'll reboot the phone and everything. And okay, now the phone reboots. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the phone off again and go to the fast boot uh, page again. Okay, so once you got the fast boot one downloaded, I make sure you guys actually put the fast boot in the same folder as the RUU. So this is the my RUU file that I downloaded. I just rename it to RUU and create the same folder like it one. And I'm actually gonna delete this one because this is actually the normal fast boot, not the HTC fast boot, because they are different, all right? So we're gonna go ahead and copy the HTC fast boot here to the same folder. Copy it like so. And now we're gonna go ahead and go to our HTC phone. We're gonna go ahead and go to fast boot. Okay. All right, now we're inside the RU folder with these two files on deck. All you have to do now is right click, 
open in terminal it's gonna open up a powershell window yes it is and then we're gonna type in fast boot oem reboot and caps lock ruu hit enter and that should be rebooting as to the RUU flash mode basically, basically like download mode in Samsung phones and then we're gonna type in HTC underscore fast boot flash zip and the same file name like we ran, we named RUU dot zip and hit enter if you trust this command let's try that dot slash enter okay that worked Okay, it looks like it's completed. It says a uh, flash zip complete. The green progress bar is full. Now we're gonna type in fast boot space rebot and hit entry. And let's see, does our beloved HTC One M8 works again? <laughs> I've been trying to solve this issue since hours. Oh ho ho, we are finally showing progress. I'm sorry about the fingerprint. Wow, after hours, I finally show some progress here. <laughs> All right, here we are back in the setup. Now, um, looks like we installed uh, the, how do you say? The UK ROM. So I don't know if this will work with this phone because like I said this is the M8X that is from Taiwan and looks like I don't get the service so oh, don't know oh no okay so this is now it just says one M8 and looks like my oh no service no service okay but look and see here it does work so it looks like yeah we are installing a different rom but it looks like it is compatible with this one and there's no one i make x reminiscence it's now called the one i make yes now it's just normal one i make now okay never mind all i have to do is this is enable and disable airplane mode here let's try to see if mobile data works because we do flash another you know software region and it does work and it does detect everything so let's see here uh since we flash everything back to stock i think we're gonna lose twerp so let's just reboot here okay then we're gonna press power and volume down again here okay as you can see we are still locking our bootloader let's go to recovery and this should be uh removing the twerp now if i was correct okay yes now we are using the old classic android recovery all right so the more i check and yes uh this is now working perfectly fine although i lost the htc one mx name because like i said before um before i flashed uh, cust any custom rom the stock rom is actually from taiwan so it has some look like some bloatware from taiwan and the phone name so it's only like this htc one mx so that's the name from the default it's like that but now with this rom it's thing it's a regular name so i think it's, it's just the same thing probably the one mhx is just basically the same phone but sell in taiwan again correct me if i'm wrong but the one mhx thingy in the comments down below right so guys there we go now your htc one i make is fully restored back to factory settings no more root no more reminiscing that you guys actually root the phone and all that let's see here uh we gotta go ahead and go to about software info 6.0 so we are on security page 2015 let's see i think we have some more uh, software update here let's see the update server works okay we got an htc home update okay so i've been looking around and there's no more uh, security patch update because the last time i checked with the taiwan rom that i have i do have a 2016 patch update but this one is 2015 so i don't know about that but there you go that's how you guys finally restore your htc one i make back to factory settings after you guys for example maybe install a custom rom you guys want to sell the phone or you guys want to start fresh this is how the way you do it all right so now stay tuned because on the next video i think i'm going to show you guys how to unlock the bootloader again we're going to root the phone and we're going to install twerp again all right because i actually want to root and put twerp on this phone okay so 
Thank you guys for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys on the next video. Peace.